हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इंट्रोडक्शन टू सी आर ओ कैथोड रे असिलोस्कोप लेट्स विगेन कैथोड रे असिलोस्कोप इन एब्रिवेटेड फॉर्म वी कॉल इट एज सी आर ओ इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस हुई कैन गिव ए भिजुआल इंडिकेशन ऑफ द सिग्नल वेब फॉर्म ऑन ए स्क्रीन व्हाट वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड विथ इट इट गिव ए भिजुआल इंडिकेशन ऑफ सिग्नल वेब फॉर्म इट इज बेसिकली यूज इन लैबोरेटरी टू गेट visual form of signal waves that are dealt in various electrical and electronic circuits it is a fast xy plotters in x and y graph we saw it as it display an input signal versus time और एनी अदर सिग्नल सो ओभराली कैथोड रे असिलोस्कोप इज यूज फॉर द भिजुआल इंडिकेशन फॉर द इनपुट वेब सिग्नल ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ सीआरओ कैथोड रे असिलोस्कोप द मेजर कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ कैथोड रे असिलोस्कोप कैथोड रेटिव दैट इज सी आर टी ट्रिगर सर्किट होराइजेंटल एम्प्लीफायर भर्टिकल एम्प्लीफायर डिले लाइन स्विप जेनेटर पावर सप्लाय ब्लॉक डायग्रामेटिकली वी सो इट एंड इनपुट सिग्नल टू भर्टिकल एम्प्लीफायर डिले लाइन वी डिस्कस्ड द फंक्शन functions of all these major components of a cathode ray oscilloscope one by one cathode ray tube crt ट्रिगर सर्किट टाइम बेस्ड जेनेटर होराइजेंटल एम्प्लीफायर पावर सप्लाय हाई भोल्टेज सप्लाय 
लो वोल्टेज सप्लाई टू ऑल द सर्किट ऑल सर्किट पावर इज सप्लाइड दिस वन इज द ब्लॉक डायग्राम of CRO cathode ray oscilloscope the major parts of CRO are now shown in the block diagram of CRO we have to discuss the function of each components one by one first that is cathode ray tube CRT cathode ray tube CRT cathode ray tube is truly the heart of cathode ray oscilloscope that is the heart of CRO is cathode ray tube basically it is a vacuum that envelope vacuum envelope that represents electrical signal in visual form this picture is a cathode ray tube this is a cathode ray tube crt cathode ray tube the entire one is just like a vacuum envelope which represents the electrical signals in visual form crt generates electrons these electrons that is focuses them into beam and accelerate them deflects the beam and finally through that beam on the screen to give a visual representation of that applied signals the major parts of cathode ray tube glass envelope electron gun deflection system phosphorescent screen here is the glass envelope glass envelope hold that set of of cathode ray tube is managed inside a specially designed envelope that made up of glass materials it is almost conical in shape and highly evacuated it maintain vacuum and supports the necessary electrodes inside that glass envelope a conducting material which is called aqua duct this one is a conducting material it's known as aqua duct aqua duct is coated in the inner walls of that tube why that coating is used that coating is electrically connected to the accelerating anode so that the electrons if accidentally strikes the wall then these are returned to that particular anode so that the walls the walls can't acquire high negative potential therefore aqua duct is used 
aqua dog we call it as a d g next electron gun what is electron gun that portion is the electron gun electron gun is an arrangement in that cathode ray tube to produce electrons to transform them into a narrow beam and focus the beam of electrons as that name indicates it fires the electrons as a bullet to that screen so the electron gun consists of a indirectly heated cathode c c c that is cathode which is indirectly heated a control grid g g g that is a control grid a focusing anode f a the focusing anode and an accelerating anode a a it is accelerating anode accelerating anode the cathode consists of a nickel cylinder with oxide coating and that indirectly heated cathode is heated by a heating filament is that is heating filament heating filament when heat is supplied to that of heating filament means power is supplied this is the power supply unit high voltage or low voltage when we provide to that of cathode ray tube basically it is towards the heating filament heating filament is heated and the cathode c indirectly heated by that heating filament the electrons are emitted from the surface of that hot cathode c a cylinder with a small circular opening encloses that cathode this enclosing cylinder is known as the control grid represented by g means it controls the flow of electrons that grids 
is uh, maintained at negative potential with respect to cathode. The potential on that grid determines what amount of electrons is allowed to continue moving towards the screen, that is the screen, which is the phosphorescent screen, the fluorescent screen. The electrons manage to pass through that small opening of that grid G and come out as a narrow beam. Then that grid pushed the beam forward to enter into that focusing anode F A. If that control grid is made more negative with respect to cathode, the beam contains less number of electrons and hence a bright spot is diminished on that of particular screen. Same thing for brightness of that of spot, we have to increase the number of electrons to increase the number of electrons that spot is ne less negative potential with respect to that grid. Therefore, brightness is controlled by that of grid. So, the name is controlled grid which is controlled either a bright spot or a diminished spot of electron is shown on that of screen which control on the basis of what kind of potential it will be with respect to that particular cathode. Next that focusing anode F A is kept at positive potential with respect to that grid. This anode can focus the electron beam into a sharp pinpoint by controlling that positive potential and the accelerating anode A A is kept at very high potential as comparison to that focusing anode. So, it accelerates the electron beam to very high velocity. That is how the electron gun, this is the electron gun portion, cathode control gate focusing anode, accelerating anode, focusing anode is high potential with respect to grid, accelerating anode also high potential with respect to focusing anode. So, the electron beam is at high velocity. That is how the electron gun assembly, electron gun assembly, cathode, control grid, focusing anode, and accelerating anode gives pinpointed accelerated beam of electrons which finally produces the visual effect on that of screen. This is all about that electron gun. Next deflection system from this part to this part. It is the deflection system deflection system so the deflection system what is the function of the deflection system when that electron beam is negatively charged. Electron beam is the negatively charged. Therefore, the beam can be deflected using a couple of positively charged plates, which is known as electrostatic deflection of the charged particles. Electron beam is negatively charged, so it is deflected towards the positively charged plates. 
so the deflection system of that particular cathode ray tube consists of two sets of deflecting plates that the deflecting plates between the screen and the accelerating anode this is the screen this is the accelerating anode we use two pairs of deflecting plates one pair is horizontal deflecting plates another pair is the vertical deflecting plates these two this is vertical deflecting plates vertical deflecting plates these two are horizontal deflecting plate as horizontal deflecting plate deflecting plate so the horizontal deflecting plate given as s that is mounted vertically whereas the the vertical deflection plane is mounted horizontally inside that tube with increasing and decreasing the potential on that vertically mounted plates the beam can be deflected like a projectile which move toward left or right when that electron beam passes the two positively charged vertical plates it is attracted towards positive plate and repelled by the negative plate then that beam finally bends towards the positive plate now that beam passes through that of horizontal deflecting plates so this can be move the spot horizontally on that of screen so that degree of deflection will depend upon the voltage of these two plates same thing when that beam passes through that of horizontal plates which is negatively charged beam can be deflected to move up and down with the appropriate potential on that of plates which is mounted horizontally based on that principle of electrostatic electrostatic attraction principle of electrostatic attraction and repulsion as a result of which the spot can be moved up or down vertically on that of screen repulsion now electron beam passes through that vertical deflecting plates due to the electrostatic attraction or repulsion we see that spot on that of screen again since it is passes through that of horizontal deflecting plates again a vertical line we see on that of screen in that way the electron beam is now visually shown on that of screen which is a fluorescent screen the front uh, face we call it as face plate of cathode ray tube is the picture screen of that cro cathode ray oscilloscope the screen is said to be fluorescent because uh, its inner side is coated with phosphor or we say it as phosphorescent screen which is a fluorescent material it is uh, for the presence of that phosphorus we call also call it as phosphorescent screen that phosphor exhibits the phenomenon of luminescence luminescence 
we can see the visual effect by using that phosphorescent screen. Phosphor includes both fluorescent as well as phosphorescent materials. That phosphors are usually made from a suitable host material with an activator added. Therefore, a copper coated zinc sulphide and silver activated zinc sulphide are the common names of phosphor. This is all about that phosphorescent screen. With the help of the, that phosphorescent screen, we visualize that electron gun. Now, a technical term that is deflection sensitivity of CRT. What is deflection sensitivity? It is defined as the displacement of spotlight on the screen per unit charge in voltage which is applied across the deflection plates. When we apply the potential or with the help of that potential difference between that deflecting plates, the spot of bright light on the top screen is deflected. That measure of deflection can be understood by the term deflection sensitivity of CRT. So, deflection sensitivity of CRT that is deflection sensitivity. the displacement of the top spot to the change in applied voltage change in applied voltage This is all about cathode ray tube, the parts of cathode ray tube and the function of each parts of that cathode ray tube and a technical term which is related to cathode ray tube that is deflection sensitivity of CRT. Next trigger circuit, look here trigger circuit. Basically, you, we use trigger circuit for what purpose? It produces a triggering signal. That the trigger circuit it produces a triggering signal trigger. that triggering signal is used in order to synchronize both horizontal and vertical deflection of electron beam both horizontal and vertical deflection of electron beam so trigger trigger circuit basically used that produces a triggering signal in order to synchronize both horizontal and vertical deflection of that of electron beam. So, horizontal amplifier is used amplifies the horizontal signal, vertical amplifier used to amplify the vertical signal. If a sinusoidal signal is uh, as in input signal, so vertical amplifiers and uh, horizontal amplifiers perform their functions 
and these two signals are now triggered by the trigger circuit and that trigger circuit synchronize both these two signals these two signals are come from the vertical deflecting plates and horizontal deflecting plates next delay line what is a delay line before proceeding towards delay line first we have to understand sweep generator what is sweep generator sweep generator here we use time based generator or a sweep generator that produces a sawtooth signal it produces a sawtooth signal sawtooth signal that sawtooth signal which is useful for horizontal deflection of electron beam of electron beam so sweep generator or we can say it as uh, time based generator produce a sawtooth signal what is sawtooth signal if we plot the signal according to the voltage minus b plus b then the signal is just like this up down up down up and so on that signal is used for that of horizontal deflecting plates so the voltage basically used for this sweep movement sweep movement the movement of the electrons the movement of that electrons depend upon the change in potential for high potential it will be one moment for low potential there will be another moment that moment of electron is known as the sweep moment that is known as the sweep and the voltage which causes that sweep moment is known as sweep voltage and the circuit which produces this voltage is called sweep generator or time based generator so which produces a sawtooth signal this is a sawtooth signal which is useful for that of horizontal deflection of electron beam next delay line delay line when that input signal we passed through that vertical amplifier one portion will be there means by using that vertical amplifier another portion is due to that horizontal amplifier and these two are synchronized by that of trigger circuit so when that horizontal amplifier amplifies that signal it will take some time delay so that delay line to create that time delay in order to this two signal are synchronized therefore there will be no such loss so the time delay delay line performs it will delay that incoming 
unknown signal unknown signal it will delay the incoming unknown signal so the purpose of the delay line is to synchronize unknown signal with that sweep signal such that a complete signal we can achieve the complete signal we get without any kind of loss to manage that loss we use that delay line so overall we say when a input signal is processed by that a vertical amplifier and horizontal amplifier these two signals are synchronized by that of trigger circuit and time based generator time based generator basically uh, provides a signal to that of uh, horizontal amplifier to create a high potential to that of electron beam and uh, these uh, two signals are now processed to one signal without any kind of loss so a time delay or delay line is used so with the help of this video lecture we understand introduction to cro cathode ray oscilloscope block diagram of cro basically these are the major components of cro that is cathode ray tube crt we discuss all about crt basic parts of crt and function of each parts of that crt and a technical term related to crt next trigger circuit that is the use of trigger circuit horizontal and vertical amplifier horizontal and vertical amplifier delay line sweep generator or time based generator and power supply basically we use the power supply to all the circuit in order to use that power supply and heating filament is used that heating filament is heated then indirect heated cathode and electron are produced and electron gone according to that position of electron gone that spot is detected on that of screen a bright spot we observe any kind of signal we provided to that signal processing circuit so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session thank you